हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग एज नो दैट वी हैव कंप्लीटेड दिस चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर फाइव वॉट आर विद द हेल्प ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियोज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल रिवाइज दिस चैप्टर विद सम एम सी क्यूज एंड टोटल फिफ्टीन एम सी क्यूज आर दे आर सो गेस द एंसर आई लास्ट द क्वेश्चन एंड एट द एंड यू विल हैव टू मैच योर स्कोर विद द एंसर की एंड शेयर विद मी इन द comment box so let's start the first question an artificial enclosure for keeping small house plants is called option a laboratory b operation bar c terrarium and d none of above so when started this chapter and uh, in the beginning of the first video we will discuss uh, we discussed about terrarium so the correct answer is terrarium is an artificial enclosure for keeping small house plants next question this is the question number 2 the process by which water continually changes its form and circulates between oceans atmosphere and land is known as what is known as condensation precipitation evaporation water cycle so this is the uh, changes of the forms of water like this from land this is the land land oceans atmosphere oceans land like this so this is called water cycle because these three things are the components and the factors of this process and this process is known as water cycle the orange river flows in orange river nigeria south africa congo india so orange river is in south africa orange river you have to remember dear students orange river is in south africa next question is which of the following rivers flows in australia out of these rivers which flows in australia darling river amazon mississippi all of above so mississippi river is flowing in the usa particularly in north america Amazon is in South America right and A Darling River is flowing in Australia so A is the correct answer of question number 4 India is sharing its western coast with western coast Arabian Sea South China Sea Bay of Bengal Pacific Ocean Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea South China and Pacific Ocean are far from Indian coastal region so arabian sea and bay of bengal are two options we have which are very closer to answer so arabian sea and bay of bengal means for example this is the western coast this is the eastern coast eastern coast western coast here this is the bay of bengal and on the western coast it is arabian sea so a is the correct answer of question number 5 The average salinity of the ocean is parts per thousand. One thousand uh, liter of water is having average how much salinity? Ten, fifteen, twenty-five, or thirty-five parts of per thousand. It is D option thirty-five total. So D is the correct answer. When is the World Water Day celebrated? Twenty-two January, twenty-three February, twenty-two March, twenty-four December. So the correct answer is C. Twenty-second March is uh, the day when we celebrate World Water Day to conserve water, to spread the awareness among the people. Tsunami is a word. Which word? Which language word? That means harbor waves. That means harbor waves. English, French, German, Japanese. so tsunami uh, is a japanese word that means harbor waves because it struck harbors and destroyed completely harbor region so it is known as tsunami clear it is a japanese word d is the correct answer question number 9 which point in the andaman and nicobar islands got submerged after tsunami in 2004 2004 you know that uh, we experienced tsunami in 2004 in india on eastern coastal parts of india 6 degree 4 minutes 
एट डिग्री फोर मिनट्स थर्टी सेवन डिग्री सिक्स मिनट्स सिक्सटी एट डिग्री सेवन मिनट्स सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ए सिक्स डिग्री फोर मिनट्स बिकॉज ऑन दिस डिग्री इंदिरा पॉइंट इज सिचुएटेड सो इंदिरा पॉइंट वॉज समाज इन वॉटर इंदिरा पॉइंट वॉज समाज इन वॉटर ड्यूरिंग दिस सोनामी टू थाउजेंड फोर एंड इंदिरा पॉइंट इज लोकेटेड एट सिक्स डिग्री फोर मिनट्स लेटिट्यूड्स नॉर्दर्न लेटिट्यूड्स The rhythmic rise and fall of ocean water twice in a day is called tsunami, harbor waves, tide, all of above. It's very simple question. C is the correct answer, tides, because uh, due to the gravitational forces of sun and moon, water of uh, on the earth right comes up and comes down twice in a day in twenty four hours, called tides. what is the main cause of tides gravity of the earth gravity of the sun and moon uh, revolution of earth sunlight as we have discussed gravity of uh, gravity of sun and moon is the correct answer because due to the gravitational forces of sun and moon the water on the earth comes up and uh, comes down clear during 24 hours twice a day during the full moon and new moon days the sun the moon and the earth are in the same line in the same line for example this is the sun this is the moon this is the earth so in this way uh, this situation led to spring tides neap tides both for example this is earth this is moon and this is sun so both of these object uh, objects are uh, using their gravitational force to pull the water that is on earth surface so in this way on one side it is experiencing very high uh, tides clear so this is high tides are known as spring tides so a is the correct answer which of the following is an average uh, advantage of high tides advantage of high tides ships arrive at harbor easily helpful in fishing generate electricity all of above so you know that d is the correct answer all of above because high tides makes a situation when uh, ships arrive at harbor easily because of uh, high tides and helpful uh, helpful in fishing because due to high tides all the fishes from the uh, sea and oceans uh, come on the shore area so generate electricity and due to the tidal we are using tidal energy to generate electricity clear uh, by making the flood gates in the previous video we discussed about it question number 14 the uh, the labrador ocean current is an example of labrador ocean current is an example of cold warm moderate none of above so it is a is the correct answer because these are the cold currents uh, because these uh, ocean currents come from the northern polar region clear north pole towards equator like this <coughs> so it is known as uh cold current as cold current so labrador ocean currents are called which of the following is a warm current oyasho california current alaska currents and labrador in the previous question we discussed about labrador this is uh, the cold current it is clear out of rest of three oyasho is uh, on the eastern coast of uh, asia and uh, california it is on the uh, western fourth uh, coast of uh, america and alaska it is the warm current ocean current warm ocean current because it is uh, flowing towards equator by the warm forces so it is warm current alaska so in this way c is the correct answer of 15th question so in this way dear students we have discussed all the mcqs what is your score you can share by writing in comment box thank you have a nice day